to you from the Oneida Lake Riding Gun Club. It's the new Oneida Lake Show. It's the new Oneida Lake Show. Cause the old one wasn't good enough. Cause the old one wasn't good enough. Cause the old one wasn't good enough. Sponsored by Angler's Bay, Bartell Road, Bait and Tackle. Good evening, folks. Rob Grafrito here from Bartell Road, Bait and Tackle and the new Oneida Lake Show. First, I'd like to apologize for missing a week. Uh, kind of had a little situation last week where I had to go up and buy a new boat. And then I was going to come down Friday and do it. And I forgot because I was running around like a chicken with a head cut off because I just bought a new boat. Um, so Pete picked on me pretty good. So just be aware, the guy behind the camera got his due, okay? So anyway, tonight is a special night. Uh, this is a week that I look forward to every year. Uh, not only because Saturday is the opening of bass season, which as far as I'm concerned should be a national holiday, uh, well, at least in New York, because other states have normal times where you can fish for them all the time. So, but ours opens on Saturday, so the first tournaments of the year start Saturday. Sunday is Father's Day. And tomorrow on Friday is one of my favorite things that we do all year long. Uh, there's an organization called United Special Sportsmen's Alliance. And if it sounds like it has to do with kids, it does. Um, this organization arranges for kids with all forms of medical and other issues to get on the water and get in the field. Uh, a woman by the name of Bridget O'Donohue from out in Wisconsin founded this and is working to bring these events to every state around the country. She's a remarkable woman who I accidentally stumbled into four years ago. And by accidentally, I mean, I had no clue what we were doing. I, we had no clue what we were getting into. We really didn't. Um, I remember the day I realized just what this was and how nervous I got, like immediately. And now four years later, we have an amazing event going on. We're at the Days Inn in Brewerton on Bartell Road right now. And behind me inside is a whole bunch of families who've driven in from all over New York to go fishing with us tomorrow. They're eating pizza. They're having fun. More than New York? Awesome. So they're inside eating pizza, they're getting registered, they're getting all kinds of goodies, meeting some of the boat captains, and then tomorrow morning, we take off from Oneida Shores, and these kids, some of these kids just wanna go for a boat ride, some of them wanna go fishing. Whatever it is, the captains that we arranged are there to take care of them for the day and to have some fun. Um, we have 17 boats tomorrow. Uh, most of them are pontoon boats and big boats. Uh, but we have so many people lining up to help us, it's unbelievable. So I wanna bring, Dean in here right now. Dean is with the USSA. You can uh, well, I don't know. I can. <laughs> yeah. Um, he sounds a little funny because he's from Oklahoma. Okay. So, I, I, we, you know, you got to pick on him a little bit. He sent me a picture of a walleye, and I didn't even know they had walleyes in Oklahoma. But apparently they do. Yes. So, so, tell us a little bit about USSA. What does USSA do? Well, again, it was founded in the year 2000. We uh, have granted over 13,000 wishes. We've... Uh, uh, we have approximately uh, 300 wishes being granted just this weekend, all right, uh, with two other events going on in northern Wisconsin on Lake Michigan and uh, another event down in Alabama. So it's, uh, it's a busy time of year for us, of course, with all the fishing events, but um, we just got finished with turkey season. We had a lot of kids that wanted to take and go turkey hunting, you know, so uh, we arranged for deer hunts. All right, and uh, like I said, fishing events all over the nation. All right. What's uh, the What's the website in case people would like to? If to somebody look wants to look at the website, it's childswish.org. All right, and there are uh, there's an application process. All right, and just if you have a child with special needs and or know of somebody that has special needs that would like to take and do something free of charge, this is one thousand percent free of charge. Uh, send in an application, and we'll see if we can get a. Uh, get them registered into one of our events. See now, th this is, once they're done fishing, they're not done yet. Uh, we have a full-blown barbecue pit and picnic set out for these kids at Oneida Shores afterwards. Um, we have people cooking, we have people serving, we have people helping with the boats, a shore crew. Um, this is a labor of love that we all started a while ago. Can you believe how far this is coming four years? This is amazing. This, we started out with what, like 12? 12, 12, 12 families, yeah. all right? Uh, the next year was like uh, 16. The last year was 20. I think we got 22 or 23 families this year. I think it's so. closer to 29 because your counterpart keeps messaging me new people that are coming. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of one of the yeah. fun parts about this. Now, what these kids are also going to get to do tomorrow is we had this great idea a couple years ago. We approached a classic car group called the Cruising Knights. That's with a K. And they come over here tomorrow morning to the hotel 
with a whole bunch of classic cars, convertibles, Mustangs, Corvettes, you name it. And these kids get to ride to Oneida Shores in one of those classic cars to be put on the boat to go fishing. Uh, we had a little five-year-old a couple years ago come in with a queen wave in the convertible. <laughs> um, and tomorrow, they're going to get to, the ones that are coming back are going to have an even neater experience because this year, we have Cicero Police Department and Brewerton Fire Department escorting them with full lights and sirens to the ramp. So it's going to be kind of neat for these kids. They don't get to do this. So we try to we try to add a little something each year. We have a lot some returning families. We have a lot of new families. So this is our this is the event that I look forward to all year long. We had the, I mean we have a lot of other fun events we do, but this one we're actually giving back, and not only giving back, we're, we're actually introducing these kids to the outdoor lifestyle that we all love so much. Um, so if you guys are around, you know if if you want to help with us with the USSA, you can contact me at the shop. You can go to childswish.org. It's childs, with an S, wish.org. Um, we're always looking for help. We're, all, we're always looking for boaters. Um, we're 100% volunteer 100% volunteer. All right, so it's, uh, it's, it's again, it's labor and love. It's you think that we could people. maybe even get another one going at some point if we could get enough participation? We, we absolutely could do that. We absolutely could do that. I, I'd love to see almost a Lake Ontario style version of this with charter boats. I think we and, could do that as well. In August when yeah. the salmon are doing that yep. thing and stuff like that. Yep. Yep. So we need your help, absolutely. folks. That's why I'm talking to you tonight. That's why we brought Dean out here tonight. We need your guys' help to help us grow this to the next level. Um, it's that simple. We can't do it without the help of the community. It's amazing to see the outpouring of the people that show up to help us out with this. We'll have a DJ there who's donating his time. Um, we have all kinds of games. I think we have a, she said we have a clown tomorrow or something. We got somebody coming to do balloon animals. Oh, uh, I don't mean Pete. Pete won't be there tomorrow. But, um, you know, we, we have, we make, <laughs> I think he wants to hit me, but he's got the camera so he can't. Um, you know, we have all kinds of activities for these kids. And one of the best parts is some of these kids are really sick. Um, we've had some kids here fresh off of chemo, but when they're in that field kicking around the ball, or hitting a badminton birdie, or just running around driving and playing, boat. or driving the boat, they don't think about it. It's it, it's one of the greatest things you've ever seen to see these kids just be kids. You know, I have a couple come straight from Galisano after treatment, and they actually get to come be kids again for a day. That's why we do this. Um, any final words you'd like to say about it? No, I just want to thank uh, the Brewerton area, you and your wife for our hosting us, and uh, it's it's wonderful. I really appreciate it, and we hope to continue. Awesome. And just uh, make it bigger every year. Yeah, we will definitely so. make it bigger every year. That's that's well, the goal. We've granted thirteen thousand wishes, over thirteen thousand so far. So it's amazing. I may we're averaging about a thousand a year. That's right? amazing. Over a thousand a year. So. And these guys are really just getting going. I mean, it's the different states that she's trying to break us into, and the different places we're going, and stuff, different things we're doing. You know, it, I. I I hopefully one of these times that we can do an episode with Bridget herself because I'd like you all to meet her. She's a special person. Um, he calls her sis, and there's a good reason for it. She, so, she's an amazing she's person. Sister, so. so yeah, and the same thing with Kim. She popped in on us a couple months ago, and those two yacked all night long. I was like, holy moly! So, but these are good people, and they're good people. We're helping now. Now that we talked about USSA, let's talk about the lake a little. Well, I was angry today. If you were in Sylvan Beach. You had five footers coming at you, six footers, seven footers. It was bad out there. Thankfully, the wind's going to lay down just in time for this weekend. It looks like the weather's going to be phenomenal. Um, Fishers of Men Tournament Trail is here on Saturday, as well as the Bergen Bassmasters out of New Jersey. They have a tournament here as well. Um, Sunday for Father's Day, it looks like good weather again. Get out there. Go fishing. It's your dad's weekend. Don't tell him he's got stuff to do. Leave him alone. Let him fish. Come on. I'm going to, me and Kim are fishing our first tournament with the Fishers of Men on Saturday. Um, I'm hoping at some point to get some cameras on the boat and we'll get some actual footage during the tournament and whatnot. That's kind of fun to do. Um, and we're going to start, we'll start doing some more on water stuff now that I'm mobile again and we can get some, some boating stuff going. Um, I'm pretty sure that Pete down at Anglers Bay is at full bore right now with rentals and with boats and with docks and oh my gosh, I mean, he sounded pretty hectic the other day. So if you need a boat rental, head on down to Angler's Bay. Look him up on the web, on Facebook. Um, he is the computer genius behind this. See, I said something nice for once. So give them a shout to do that. Next weekend is a big tournament. Uh, the Cash and Rods Northern Tour is here. Uh, again, I'll be fishing that. I'll try to get some live stuff going from the tournament. 
Uh, next week when we shoot our episode, we'll talk more about that and other things that are coming, including the 4th of July fireworks, which are on July 3rd here in Brewerton. Uh, it's going to be even bigger this year. Uh, I get to enjoy them a little more this year. I'm not on the committee this year. I get to sit back and go to a party, and I'm pretty so stoked about that. So, uh, but they also know for a fact, they bumped it up. It's going to be bigger. It's going to be better. It's going to be fun to do. So that's all I got for this week. Uh, remember childswish.org. Uh, hit us up on onidalakefishingreports.com. Uh, thank you all. I mean, we're having fun doing this. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm hearing from you every week in the shop. So again, I'm Rob Grafrito for Bartell Road Bait and Tackle and the new Oneida Lake Show. Behind the camera is the intrepid Peter Rich from Anglers Bay. You all have a great night. We'll see you next week.